Hi all, my name is Reema and today we are recording a session on how to handle error, uh, like if you are getting any kind of error in childbirth, so how we can handle those error inside the master bot. So here in uh, in the automation, like I have created one master bot and I have created two child bots, child bot 1 and child bot 2. So I'll call this both child bot from master bot. And then after calling of each uh, sub bots, I can say that like each sub, uh, child bot, I'll check in the master bot like that child bot is executed successfully or not. Okay, so how we can check that? So for, for that, like let's open each child bot and let's add some uh, try catch block. And then I'll, I'll, I'll like uh, I'll guide you like how we can uh, check, uh, like how we can check the error, uh, like if this bot executed, the child bot executed successfully or not, right? Inside the master bot. So I'll go and I'll open this child bot one. So in the child bot one, so first first thing is like we have to add error handling, right? So I'll add error handling inside child bot one, and then in the catch block, what we need to do? So whatever code you want to add in the child bot, so that you can add inside the try catch block, try block. And suppose if any uh, steps is failing inside the child bot, it immediately it will come inside the catch block. So so those errors we have to handle inside the catch block. So for that, like. Uh, so suppose any suppose if I'm creating any file over here, suppose any access file I'm creating here, and I say that child bot one access file. This is my I have created one access file. I'll try to open this file. I'll try to open this file uh, from in this child bot one. Okay, so I'll open this file. So to open the Excel file, so we do have a command that is open command inside the Excel package. So let's drag and drop. And I try to open this file, and that file is on my desktop. So I'll, I'll use this desktop option. I'll do the double quote. Okay. So see, this file is available at this location. Suppose if I try to open the different file. Okay. Suppose if I try to open this file, child bot 11. So this file is not at this location. The child bot 1 is there, but child bot 11 is not there. So what? So if I run this bot, then it will fail. All right. It will fail. So, so whatever the failure, like it fail, what it will say, like at the line number two, the bot got failed, and the reason will be like this file is not there at the given location, right? So this error message we will get. So we have to handle this error message in the catch block once it will fail over here. So, uh, here in the catch block, we need to handle that error. So for that, we need to create a variable in the error. So error message one. I'll create the server so whatever error will come inside this try block it will come inside the error message so instead of error message the one more variable i have created error message so that i will select so in the error message it will hold the error description whatever error will come inside the try block so that description will come inside this error message variable okay and also so like suppose it will fail at line number two so that number the line number should also we have to store into some number variable so here we'll, we will store into the error line number. Okay. So so now this code is ready, right? We I have added one line of code. I'll try to open the Excel file, but this file is not present. So it will throw an error. So here I'm handling those errors. So in the case of error, like once the error will come, then what I have to do, I'll create one flag value. So or, or if we are not creating any flag value also, so in that case, you can go with this error message also, this variable also. So you can pass this error message variable from child bot to master bot. Okay. So in, in the master bot, you can check if error message variable is not blank. If it holds some value, that means that child bot one got failed. If this error message variable is uh, empty, so in that case, this child bot one executed successfully. So this way we can check. Okay, instead of creating any flag and all. Okay, so first of all, so uh, at the starting of this bot, what I will do, I'll clean this variable, the both variables. So for that, so first error description is string type variable. So what I have to do, I'll use one assignment command, and here I'll use error message, and here I'm cleaning the variable. So so that like when the error will come, then it will hold some value, right? So that is the reason. So uh, again, I'll copy, uh, like I'll use this to clean the error number. I'll go, uh, I'll use the number type um, package, and inside the number type package, I'll use this assignment, and I'll clean the error line number also. Okay, here and here I'm opening the file. I'll use one close command also to close the file. Okay, 
So in Excel Advanced, there's a close command, and here uh, I'll say zero. Let me send some value here because uh, we cannot make it empty. So in the number type variable, so let's make it zero. If it is not zero, that means it is holding some value, right? So it is holding some value. So here, uh, and in the case of failure, you can also maintain a log file, right? So uh, I will say I use a log file in the case of failure. We can write down in some text file on your local drive, like in this task bot uh, at this line number, and this is the error description. It got failed. So, so uh, here let me create one uh, file. Uh, I'll say I'm going to use this txt file. This is empty one. Okay, I'll delete this one. Uh, I'll use one. So I'll rename this one. I'll say log. File. Okay, so this path I'll use in this log file. I'll maintain all the logs. Copy this path. Okay, and here let's append the time step. Like whenever, like suppose at this time it got failed. When I'm running this bot and this time, like uh, what will fail that time step? It will uh, store in this log file. Okay, by selecting this checkbox. So here let's also insert uh, like this task box name. Okay. So because we have created a multiple bots, right? The uh, two sub bots and one master bot. So we need to, uh, like, uh, like whenever error will occur, then by reading the text txt, where we can identify like in which uh, like in which bot this uh, this error occur, right? So for that we need to store uh, store the child bot like uh, this task bot name, right? So for that we do have a system variable. Let's insert dollar and here put a. So there's a a task name by using this variable, the system variable, we can get the task name, not the current task name. Okay, and then I'll use a comma, and I'll use the same variable error line number, and this is a, again this is a number type variable, so we cannot insert a number type variable in any text like text file. So we need to convert into the string. So we can convert like this way, and then insert one comma at the end, go at the end, and Insert one comma and then array description. Okay, so like this array description, yeah, this is done. So let's call this child bot from master bot. Okay, so I'll go into the master bot and I'll call this uh, child bot. But before calling this child bot, so what we have to check in the master bot, we need to check like this bot as scripted or not as scripted. So how we can check that? We need to pass this variable from this bot to master bot, right? So if we are passing this error message variable right there in master bot, so what we have to do, we have to make this error message variable as output type. Then only the master bot can check this variable value. Right? So here by clicking, of, uh, like let's click on that error message and make it as use as output. So if you want to pass this variable value from child bot to master bot, so just make it as output. Then only you can pass the value, right? Let's click and apply. Close this one and go to the master bot. Okay, so in the master bot, we need to call the child bot, right? I have to call the like in, from the master bot, we, we, we can call multiple bots, right? Multiple sub bots. So as of now, I'm calling one child bot. So for, to call a child bot from the master bot, for that, we do have a command inside the task bot package. So that is a run bot. Okay, just use this run bot and choose and call that child bot one. Okay, I'll choose this one, and now you can see. So there in the child bot, I had made one variable as output type. So if you want to check that variable value inside the master bot, so what we have to do, we have to provide a mapping. Same variable we need to map in the master bot. Then only we can get the value which will assign into the child bot. Okay, so for that we have to click on this mapping things. Okay, on this uh, button, so just click over here. Click on apply. And then you will see like this error message is reflecting here in the master bot. That means now once this bot will execute it, then after this line number, you can get this error message value also. Okay. So after this one, if you want to check like that bot is executed or not executed, so for that, just add one message box here. Okay. Just add one message box here and just check the value. Just check the error message value. Okay. And run this bot and let's check what value, what error message you are getting if your child bot is failing. So that message you can get in the master bot. So according to that value, like that variable value, 
you can decide the childhood executed successfully or or like whether it failed yeah so you can see this message is box is coming here and the master board at the line number two because at the line number one we call that task board so when that task board is executed the child board executed then it came to the line number two in the master board so now we can get this uh, message also so what it is saying unable to find this file right maybe it is moved or renamed okay so this message we are getting so on the basis of that variable message we can decide like this child board is uh, failed so uh, so right now like i have added the messages and there only i'm displaying but how we can uh, do the next uh, operations if it is fail or suppose if it is it executed successfully then i have to execute i have to run a next child board so so it totally depend upon the child but one execution if it failed then i'll i'll i want to stop my bot execution okay so let's check that one so for to add a validation on the basis of child bot failure so for that just use a if condition drag and drop after the line number one and the error matches variable type is a string, right? So that variable I need to check here. So I'll choose the string from the if condition. And the source value will be our error message. Okay, so I'll select from here error message. So I will say, okay, like, if this error message is uh, not equals to blank, okay? If it is not equals to blank, blank means if it is holding something, then I will decide, yes, we are having some error in the child board. So in that case, what I want to do, I want to maintain one log file here in the same log file I'll use. I, I'll use the same log file which I have created here. I'll use same log file, copy, paste the path, and and here I will again I'll uh, add this timestamp and here I, what I will do um, child bot one fail. Okay, I will say child bot one fail. Okay, in the child bot already we are logging the error message and error line number. So here I'm just saying child bot one failed. Okay, and then in the else condition and here here only I just want to stop the bot execution of the master task. Okay, so what I can do to stop the master task bot execution? So I will use the stop command. So once I'll use the stop command after the log file, it will stop this bot execution here only. So suppose if you're not getting the error message blank, or like if you're getting the error message blank means the child bot one executed successfully without any single error. So in that case, we will receive error message value blank, right? It will not hold any kind of value. So in that case, in the else condition, I want to call some other task, other sub task. okay? So I will drag and drop else condition. Here in the else condition, I want to call this some other task, okay? So I'll just use task bot. I'll use the run command here and I will call the another task bot. Okay, child bot 2. Okay, so I'll call the another one. So similar way, if you want to add any line number code inside the child bot, so there also you can add. And similar way, if you want to check whether this bot is failed or uh, uh, success, executed successfully, so in, in similar way, you can add the validation. And in similar way, you can uh, like pass the variable from child bot to master bot to check the, whether that bot is failed or uh, like executed successfully. So as of now, so I'm not adding anything inside this child bot. I have already like uh, uh, like I have already added the, some uh, bot uh, some line of code inside this uh, child bot one, and uh, I have added the validation of the similar way you can do for the child bot two also. Okay, so let's execute this one, and I'll delete this log file. It will create once the bot execution will start, then it will create this log file automatically. Okay. And it will append all the record. If it will fail, then it will append the where in which task board it failed, at what line number it failed, and what is the error description, right? Everything it will uh, uh, like write in that uh, log to file. And also it will return that error message inside the master task variable. Yeah, see, log file is done. In the master task, I have added this line of like child bot one failed. So that means once you got the error inside the uh, child bot right so that error uh, like uh, that bot execute like stopped right and then after it came to the master bot and here also i have done the log to file so it is writing here so this way you can handle 
your uh, if you are getting any error like if, like in this way you can handle your errors if you are getting in this child but into the master bot right you can check and accordingly you can decide what you have to do what like, accordingly you can add your next command so thanks for watching this video if you have any queries regarding to this like how we can handle the ch a child bot error inside the master bot just ping me over to my channel i'll respond to you as soon as possible thanks for watching my video